The worst flooding in decades has already affected more than 37 million people across China in the summer of 2020. The flooding started in the nation's south, with the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region and Guizhou Province becoming inundated in early June. By July 19th, heavy rains had been pounding 27 of China's 31 directly administered provinces. Rising water levels along the Yangtze River have battered cities and villages in dozens of provinces along Asia's waterway. As of mid-July, more than 140 people were reported dead or missing because of the floods. The economic loss caused by the torrential rains is estimated at about 86 billion yuan, equivalent to around 12.3 billion US dollars. So why are the floods so severe in China this year? According to meteorologist Xiong Lan Chun from China's National Climate Center, it has to do with a subtropical high pressure system over the northwestern Pacific that was stronger than usual this year. He said the system's intersection with cold air has led to continuous heavy rainfall in the Yangtze River Basin. Climate change needs to be factored in as well. Song said, seeing it over the long term, Global warming has led to an increase in the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events. Song added that over the past 60 years, the number of days of heavy rain has gone up by nearly 4% every decade. In addition to climate change, human activities in China are blamed for making floods more severe. Decades of land reclamation and dam building have reduced the area and volume of lakes and rivers, reducing the amount of water they can store before they burst their banks. China has always had to cope with flooding. One of the country's worst known floods was in 1931, when more than 2 million people died. A more recent catastrophic flood was along the Yangtze River in 1998, when over 3,000 people were killed. After that disaster, Beijing increased spending on flood defenses. Reservoirs were built to try and tame major rivers, inducing the mighty Yangtze, where the huge Three Gorges Dam started construction in 1994. But scientists have questioned whether massive dams can effectively control flooding downstream. Last week, after the water level rose more than 15 meters, or 50 feet above flood level, Three floodgates of the Three Gorges Dam were open, while elsewhere, soldiers were testing embankments and strengthening them with sandbags and rocks. On July 19th, authorities in central China blasted a dam on a tributary of the Yangtze River to release surging waters. Cities further downstream have been spared so far, but on the banks of the rain-swollen Yangtze River lies Wuhan, a city still reeling from its experience earlier this year as the world's first epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic. Wuhan is now on high alert for another reason, amid fears that the nearby waterways will continue to rise, bringing more hardship.